We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is Wednesday, September 2nd. I got it right. And we are at my dad's house, as you guys have all know, and we're off to my mom's house tonight. It's about an hour from here. But before we leave, we're in the process, of, we're about to make a recipe for my dad with the Irish moss, and we're in the pro we don't know what we're going to do. I'm on some sort of mission, aren't I, babe? Yes, I think Mr. Monarch's on a making people make their own recipes mission. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take what we got. I don't even know what that is yet. Angela just found some purple mulberries in her hand for a sweetener because we didn't have a, any more sweet stuff last time. I think that's going to be perfect. We've got coconut meat from drinking all the coconut waters. We've got Irish moss. We've got soaked goji berries. We drink the water, the soaked goji water. And we leave the blueberry, the goji berries for them. We could maybe put chocolate in again. He seems to like chocolate, your dad. Yeah. This is going to be an extraordinary recipe. Let's head off to the kitchen. Now, here we are in the kitchen, and we're trying to figure out maybe some sort of... The Irish moss can make a tiramisu consistency. Let's, let's check it out after being in the refrigerator over 24 hours. Look at that. This is crazy. It's like jelly. Yeah. Wow. This is tiramisu consistency, isn't it? <laughs> well, I never ate tiramisu. I don't know what it's like, but you seem to think it's like tiramisu. I don't know. It, it is. It, it could be. <laughs> it could be. Look at that. Seaweed to gel. Yummy. Yum. Okay, everybody. We are making chocolate, raw cacao chocolate, tiramisu pie. <laughs> We've got a pie ball. Woo. And I'm making this up as I go. So this is how you do it. We soaked purple mulberries, which I miss. I haven't had it in so long. We soaked about half a bag, right? They smell really good. They smell like caramel or something, huh? Decadence. So here they are. This is going to be the sweetener for today because we don't have any other sweet stuff. We're just going to bimble that in. And then I'm going to go like that. Like that. I'm learning to just use a little bit at a time in the blender to really get to a consistency that we love and enjoy. And we're going to put the Irish moss seaweed in there. I'm going to use a good amount of it because <clears throat> I really want this tiramisu consistency to happen. <laughs> Do you know what tiramisu looks like? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like the, you just go, and just like totally slices off and you're just like. <laughs> Sounds good. So we're putting a lot in. And what we're going to use is we're using a lot of coconut oil because we're going to put this in the refrigerator and it's going to get you know, solid in there, and the tiramisu consistency with the coconut oil and the Irish moss wow. is going to be profound. See what I'm saying? Just do that. A little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a recipe to die for. Or live for? No pun intended. We've got coconut meat. Ooh. That was from like five coconuts or something, right? Yeah, we're only using half. And then the magic elixir ingredient. Raw chocolate. I really want this thing to happen right, so we're just gonna go. Ooh, on. maybe we could put a pinch of salt in to bring the flavours out. That'd be a great idea, Miss Stokes Monarch. Is there any Himalayan here? Do you guys have any salt? That's good. And here we go. This kind of... Okay, ladies and gentlemen. 
Wow, check that out. That's like a serious pudding. Wow. It's like, watch it wiggle and jiggle. It smells so good. There you have it, everybody. Here's your pie. No? Nah. No. Nah. Okay, so I think I want to do a little bit more in there because I'm wanting... I'm really excited that it really blended nicely. We're going to put more, a little bit more coconut oil in. And I want to make this tiramisu consistency really good. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit too much Irish moss. Just like, That'd be alright. I don't think you can... Okay, let's do it. And the salt, Bibble. Some salt. We could even put a little bit of cayenne in Is if we wanted. Is that too much, you think? Yeah, I think that's too much. Okay, here we go. look at that consistency can you see it it's like wow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in this pie right and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator or and then the freezer maybe or in the, in the freezer just to um, speed up the process and what's gonna happen is um, the coconut oil with the Irish moss is just gonna become more solidified and you're gonna see a tiramisu consistency pie here and it's going to be profound, and my dad's going to absolutely love it. And he's going to have this for weeks on end, most likely, because we're making two of them. Wow. All right, you guys are going to love... We just put it in the refrigerator, and the consistency is the tiramisu consistency. <laughs> but before we get into that, I got a little thing I got to read from one of our blog posters who posted a comment. It was very inspired to try your juice recipe. It sounds yum, but was wondering about the coffee mate on the counter. <laughs> Seems like that would have been tossed a long ago, time ago. Obviously, people aren't up to speed with what's going on with us. We don't even have a home. We're at my dad's house right now. See? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and we're in the process of making this happen. Look. Wow. Kind of like, look at that. It was only in the refrigerator for probably like 10 minutes. It's in the freezer, right? Freezer for 10 minutes. Come check this out, baby girl. Is everybody ready for this? Wow. Wow. Ooh la la. That's so cool. This was just discovered on a whim. I've never experimented with Irish moss. It's just you have a natural knack for it. This is like recipe, raw food recipes in the raw hair. Serious raw food recipes in the raw. Woo! Okay. Here we go. The question is how to get it out. Would Maybe it be with a spatula? Yeah. Oh yeah, look, there's one over there, the red one. Do you have, okay. Wow. You kind of see how that works? Very cool. So now, check this out. When my dad eats it, he's going to be like this. Look at this. Like, just, just cuts like tiramisu. <laughs> <laughs> it just cuts like tiramisu. Yeah. Let's see if he likes it. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Mm. All right. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> now, if I had to do something over again, <clears throat> I would have definitely used agave to make it really sweet. We used purple mulberries, but you got with, with what you, you know. You work with what you get. So, there you have it. We've got Andrew Six Monarch and Matt Monarch, and we'll see you tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.